Hello, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Paul from The Daily Dose and we have another update for today. So we'll talk about the new cars from Hot Wheels and some updates for Mini GT. They have awesome upcoming cars soon. So let's start off first with this. Uh, the brand new 2023 uh, Mexico Convention exclusive Porsche uh, 964. Uh, here's, a, here's sample photos of it. It's lo it looks outstanding. Um, yeah, again, uh, exclusive car. Got some premium details in this, as you see. Just looks nice. Hey, look at the front again. I love that the headlight is just not solid paint, so they added some uh, layering, some details to that one. Comes in an acrylic case and pretty simple uh, artwork or livery on the side says number 23 also uh, because this is a 2023 uh, Co Mexico convention exclusive again beautiful Porsche 964 right here and also some updates yeah on the upcoming Hot Wheels uh, premium car culture off-road series so five cars in this I don't know if they have a chase for this series uh, if they have you can leave a comment down below but here's an update on the cars and how they look uh, better photos on it so we have probably my my favorite one or one of my favorite cars uh, in this series the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado so this is a 2005 model so check out the details right there got the fog lights detailed uh, yeah it's just a nice car bumper right there again more lights headlights well well detailed love the off-road tires and this uh, just the rear also well detailed with the like I think you can call the tail lights of the Prado iconic yeah iconic tail lights uh, the Prado the Land Cruiser Prado is like uh, the the smaller version of the like the standard uh, Land Cruisers and they in real life they are a little cheaper than the Land Cruisers but they're still pretty tough and it's one of my favorite cars ever to be honest yeah the Land Cruiser the, the standard Land Cruiser and the Prado so yep really nice the 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 roof rack though I wish they had accessories on this but yeah I can't complain too much but anyways this is a nice one right hand drive also for this um yeah beautiful mercedes uh g-wagon right here the uh mercedes-benz g-class 1993 model says iwc i don't know how to pronounce this <laughs> Schaffhausen. says the big pilot right there i think this is removable i i do have like a, a casting on this i didn't open the box or the 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 blister I think this is removable yeah, it's a nice one uh, detailed headlights and tail lights for this and again some decos on that one it's pretty nice looking uh, another to uh, Toyota a 4Runner I, I think I always mention that the 4Runner is uh, like similar to the Fortuner or it is a Fortuner in other countries uh, however, looking at the tail lights right here, I think it is not. It is different because the the newer Fortuners have like uh, different tail lights. It's it's slimmer. This one has like more of the classic uh, tail lights. So, anyways, check out the details. It's a good one. Huge like grill right here, which is like in almost every new car right now. Some are non-functioning. They're just there for uh, aesthetics. But it's a good one. Got side mirrors. Uh, roof handles right here. TRD. Beautiful color. Uh, in this one. I don't know if you like the color. Uh, <laughs> let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, yeah, tail lights or rear is detailed right there. TRD logo also. On, uh, on this it's nice and next up a Range Rover which is actually again one of the best 
uh, cars in this, uh, the Range Rover Classic. Well, actually, man, all the cars in this uh, are fantastic. I'm a big fan of all the cars uh, in the Hot Wheels like off-road series. So check out the Range Rover Classic. I just love the colorway. Again, I, I mentioned this before. It's like it yeah, it has like the vintage colors. Get like the yellow, like almost a camel trophy yellow in there. The, the almost like a brown or orange. Then red. Yeah, it's it's a nice touch. Number th 333. Uh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Love the off-road tires. And uh, the last one I think will be will be the the peg warmer, a big air bel air. Yeah. Uh, I love this casting, but I just think this would be a peg warmer uh, in here. So check out the colorway. Yeah, almost like a teal to baby blue and white. It's a good one again. Love the lights. Off-road tires again for this as this is an off-road series. Man, yeah, detailed all around. Chrome interior. Some parts of the interior are chrome, uh, I should say base i think yeah that is chrome so awesome a uh, hot wheels car culture uh off-road series yeah what do you think are you getting all the cars are you pre-ordering them or have you bought them already i think this is al already out in some parts of the world uh, yeah, it's a good one uh i have to rate this probably like an an eight out of ten and not not the not the best but it is still a good one uh, yeah, BM Creations also have some new cars coming soon. The uh, uh, Defender 110 pickup. So check that one out. Two color variants. Got the shark teeth design on that. I love this like uh, camo green, like an olive, olive uh, green color. It's right hand drive for both uh, the camouflage ivory. Also looks absolutely nice. Yeah, look at the yeah both have the same uh, camo pattern so tons of accessories again pretty much standard with bm creations cars so you can replace like a lot of uh, parts of the cars and have a different kind of look so th that is really nice opening parts also for this yeah, it's one i think bm creations is one of the uh, unappreciated brands out there they're not really that popular um, they're not that cheap too they're quite expensive but you have fun with them but they're not the most most uh, durable ones out there uh, understandable because uh, you can uh, remove the parts so yeah for 164 scale that's not uh, I think possible to build a durable model but yeah it is a it is a good one so mini gt yeah also have some new cars which are available uh for pre-orders by the way and uh if you're from the philippines again uh, go check out hobby stock uh, if you want to pre-order uh, these cars for other countries i i don't know maybe go check out uh, instagram there are a lot of uh, sellers accepting pre-orders for this so the first one we have the Lamborghini Euros. This is a 2022 model. Uh, this is a Macau GP safety car. This is priced at around 630 pesos or around probably 11 to 12 US dollars. Outstanding details as usual right here. Uh, Mini GT has really good Lamborghini Euros. You can't go wrong with them. You got the Nissan Skyline GTR R32 from the Macau Gear Race. Yeah, this won the race. Um, it is nice it is really nice look at the details right there pretty standard again with their R32s and they have like a Ducati Ducati uh, Panigale V4 so that is with the minifigure they call that the Ducati girl no no details though on the on the face but everything else looks nice loving the bike as usual uh, it's just it, it's tiny though, but yeah, be careful with that one. It's a nice one. It's another unappreciated uh, car or uh, casting. I mean, not car casting from Mini GT. 
Uh, this is again priced 675 pesos, around 12 US dollars. Uh, we have a BMW M4 CSL in Alpine White. Looks absolutely nice. Uh, yeah, look at this. Really clean though, and I love the details right here. Even though that is uh, a nice looking car, I think that would be like uh, a, a slow or a weak seller uh, for Mini GT from he uh, in here, yeah, from the Philippines. Next up, this is actually outstanding. A McLaren F1 GTR, uh, a 1996 uh, from the 1996 presentation. 540 pesos, man. That is like yeah cheaper than the Ducati. So this is a must-have if you have to ask me. Check out the details on this. It's absolutely worth it. And uh, I don't know why this is so cheap. 540 pesos. That's around 10 US dollars uh, for that one. Around, yeah, two dollars cheaper than the Ducati. Man, I thought this was more expensive. But anyways, man, yeah, that is a must-have for me. Uh, the last one, an Acura R ARX 06 GTP. Uh, I really don't have any. Uh, I'm not. I mean, I'm not familiar with this casting at all, with this car at all. But it looks nice. So this is a Konica Minolta Acura ARX from the uh, 2023 IMSA Daytona, the 24-hour race. So this is the more, most expensive one, around 765 pesos, probably around 13 US dollars. Yeah, quite understandable with all the details. And I think this car is just pretty uh, harder to build than the other ones. It's a nice one. And uh, yeah, I actually pre-ordered like two of these. Uh, two of this, I mean, the, the brand new uh, Mini GT Nissan Skyline GTR R34 top secret gold Japan exclusive. So I have like the the blue top uh, top secret R34. Uh, I only have one of that one. I'll, for this, I have already pre-ordered two: one to open to do a review, and one to keep sealed for the collection. This is priced at around uh, 630 pesos. That's cheap, man that's cheap cheaper than the ducati again this is a, a japan exclusive and look at the details right there just nice uh i think the that it stopped the top secret uh skylines for mini gt it's one of their best uh model cars yet so that is absolutely freaking nice <laughs> yes yeah yeah, you should pre-order too, so that uh, you'll have easier time getting this. That's what I like about Mini GT. Uh, they have official distributor here, and you can pre-order them. So, anyways, uh, that is today's update. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, please like and subscribe, and see you on our next video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.